Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel where we simplify the world of AI for you. Today we are diving into a fascinating topic, explainable AI or XAI. Have you ever wondered why AI models make certain decisions? What happens when AI denies a loan, recommends treatment, or parses a self-driving car but can't explain why? That's where XAI comes in. In this video, we will explore the definition, importance, popular methods like SHAP, LIME, and PFI, and the exciting future of XAI. Let's get started. Let's begin with what explainable AI is. XAI refers to tools and techniques that make AI model decisions transparent, understandable, and interpretable for humans. Why is this important? It builds trust with stakeholders, helps identify errors and biases in the model, ensures compliance with legal standards like GDPR, and it's critical for high-stakes domains such as healthcare, finance, and autonomous systems where trust and accountability are non-negotiable. Traditional AI models, especially black box models like deep learning, are highly accurate but lack interpretability. Why is this a problem? They don't explain how or why decisions are made. They are difficult to debug or audit for biases. And they can't provide a rationale for individual predictions, making them unsuitable for trust-critical applications. That is why XAI is so important. It ensures transparency where it's needed most. There are several methods for achieving explainability in AI. The most popular ones are SHAP, Shapely Additive Explanations, LIME, Local Interpretable Model Agnostic Explanations, PFI, Permutation Feature Importance. Let's dive deeper into one of these methods and see how they work. First up is SHAP, a model agnostic explainability model based on Shapely values from cooperative game theory. SHAP explains predictions by fairly distributing the model's output among the features. Key features of SHAP include local and global explanations, explains both individual predictions and global feature importance. Fair attribution, ensures feature contributions add up to the model's prediction. Visualizations, offers rich plots like force plots, waterfall plots, and summary plots. Here's a quick coding exercise demonstrating SHAP in action. Let us load the sample iris data set and split the data set with respect to train set and also the test set. Train the random forest classifier and use SHAP with tree explainer. Let us visualize the overall summary for predictions. Let's break down the SHAP interaction summary plot. The x-axis represents SHAP interaction values showing the magnitude and direction of interaction effects for different features. Positive values mean the feature contributes positively to the prediction. Negative values mean the feature contributes negatively. Y-axis are represented through the feature names, cephal length, petal length and cephal width. Each vertical panel corresponds to a specific feature for which interaction values are computed. It shows how a feature interacts with other features. Dots represent individual SHAP interaction values for samples in the dataset. Colors indicate another interacting feature or the SHAP value for each feature. Blue represents lower values. Pink or purple represents higher values. The plot shows how different features like cephal length, petal length, and cephal width interact to affect the model predictions. In summary, this visualization highlights the interaction effects between features and their contributions to the model's output. Next, we have LIME, which explains individual predictions by approximating the model locally with a simpler interpretable surrogate model. How does it work? It perturbs the input data around a specific instance. It generates predictions for these perturbations. Then it trains a simple model to explain the prediction locally. Key features of LIME include local interpretability, focuses on single predictions, model agnostic, works with any machine learning model, 
intuitive, easy to understand and implement. Here's how you can implement Lime in code. For the implementation of Lime, let us install the Lime library. Let us load the sample iris data set and split the data set into train set and test set and train the random forest classifier. We have also defined the Lime explainer and use the explainer to explain a single prediction. The output of Lime for the given sample explains how each feature influences the model's prediction for a particular instance. Here's a breakdown of the results. 0.00, .00 probability of class 0 not predicted. 0 0.99 probability of class 1 predicted class with high confidence. 0 0.01 probability of class 2 not predicted. The model is very confident that the prediction belongs to class 1. Lime shows how specific feature values influence the prediction. For class 1 predicted output, each feature has a positive or negative contribution. Petal length greater than 4.25, contribution 0.22. This means the petal length of 4.70 significantly pushes the prediction toward class 1. A longer petal length is important for the prediction. 0 0.30 less than petal width. Contribution 0 0.18. The petal width of 1.20 positively contributes to the prediction. Wider petal width reinforces the model's belief that this belongs to class 1. 5.75 less than cephal length. Contribution 0 0.01. The cephal length of 6.10 has a small positive impact on the prediction. Cephal width less than equals to 2.80, contribution 0 0.01, the cephal width of 2.80 has minimal impact. Let's look at the feature table. Petal length 4.70, high positive influence. Petal width 1.20, moderate positive impact. Cephal length 6.10, low positive impact. Cephal width 2.80, negligible impact. The petal length and petal width are the two most influential features driving the prediction toward class 1. The longer petal length 4.70 and wider petal width 1.20 match the characteristics that the model associates with class 1. Lime's explanation helps identify the specific features and their values that contributed to the decision providing local interpretability for the given prediction. Lastly, let's talk about Permutation Feature Importance, PFI. PFI measures the importance of a feature by shuffling its values and observing the impact on model performance. Key features include model agnostic, works with any machine learning model, global interpretability shows overall feature importance, ease of use, simple to implement and doesn't require changes to the model. Let's look at a quick coding example to compute PFI and visualize feature importance. Let us load the sample dataset iris and split the dataset with respect to the train set and test set and train the random forest classifier. Let us generate the permutation feature importance and we have also displayed the feature importance. We have sorted and visualized the feature importance. The permutation feature importance chart shows the mean importance of each feature based on how much it affects the model's performance when its values are shuffled. Petal length, it has the highest mean permutation importance 0.2. This indicates that petal length is the most crucial feature for the model's prediction. Petal width, the second most important feature with a mean importance of around 0.15. It contributes significantly to the model prediction but less than petal length. Cephal features, cephal width and cephal length both show zero importance, empty bars. This means that when the cephal related features are shuffled, the model's performance does not change significantly. The model likely does not rely on these features for making predictions. In conclusion, the model relies heavily on petal length and petal width for predictions, while cephal length and cephal width do not contribute much to the prediction process. Here's a quick comparison of these methods. SHAP is ideal for both local and global interpretability, but can be computationally expensive. LIME is great for quick 
instant specific explanations but lacks global insights. PFI is simple, efficient and perfect for global feature ranking though it doesn't capture feature interactions. The methods also have set of weaknesses where SHAP is computationally expensive and complex for large models whereas inconsistent explanations and not global method in line assume feature independence and limited to feature importance and not interactions with respect to PFI. SHAP can be applied to high stake domains where trust and transparency are critical. LIME is suitable when there is instant specific expectations, example credit approvals, medical predictions, where PFI is suitable when there is feature selection, global importance ranking and model debugging. Each method has its strengths, weaknesses and is suitable to different use cases. The future of explainable AI looks exciting. Advancements in XAI expect hybrid models and improved deep learning interpretability. Regulation and ethics, laws like the EU AI Act and GDPR demand transparency and accountability. Building trust, transparent AI will foster trust and drive adoption in industries like healthcare, finance and beyond. Explainable AI is the future of trustworthy and transparent AI systems. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts on XAI. I am creating this content to help you stay ahead in the world of AI. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.